Soapbox Engage is an online engagement tool set for organizations of all shapes and sizes. It includes a variety of different apps from an online fundraising app, events app, as well as a e-commerce app called Soapbox Shop, which we'll be showing you in this demo here today. Soapbox Shop allows organizations to be able to do online e-commerce integrated with Salesforce.com. This gives you the ability to have a store, allow that store to have different items and different categories, to be able to collect payment from purchases in that store via credit card, and to store all this data in Salesforce. Most importantly, it's integrated with Salesforce in a way in which leverages the Salesforce product functionality, as well as the opportunity and opportunity line items functionality. This is fantastic for organizations that are looking to use Salesforce for inventory management and other ways to keep track of their products, their pricing, and the orders related to them. So let's take a look at this very simple example. Uh, with Soapbox Engage, the shop app allows us to customize the design of the template to meet your organization's own design. So in this case, we've just got a sample org that we've created here, it just says Soapbox Engage with the logo, and the design would be replaced with your organization's logo and design. And a Soapbox shop can have a, a variety of different shops in it. So you don't need to have just one uh, shop front end. You can have multiple shop fronts within your own Soapbox Engage instance. In this case, the shop has a title. It's got some introductory text. You can include videos, photos, etc. You can also create um, tabs across the top in case you want to be able to show different categories of products. And then down below, we can see the products. Each product can show an image related to it, information about the title, some descriptive information about the product, and then the status of the product, whether or not it's in stock, discontinued, etc. For each of the items, we also have the list price, the ability for you as an administrator to select a minimum and maximum number of items that can be purchased for this particular product. And when you choose this, it would automatically update the totals here. So our total for this product purchase order is now $30, but if I choose, say, three of the life-changing books, this is now 60 plus 30 gives us this $90 here. When I click on any one of the individual products, it brings up this modal view, which can show me more detail, a larger image if I want, more detail about the description, and allows me to go ahead and update and select the quantity here as well, too. A little further down the screen is where we start to get the contact information. Our goal with Soapbox Shop is to make it as easy as possible for you to present beautiful web front ends for online purchases, but to do so without having to let a user go through multiple screens of a checkout process to do it all on one screen and to have it all mobile responsive so you can do this from a smartphone as well. So on this page, we see the contact information down below. This would be the contact of the person who's placing this order. A little further down, we have a secure payment section. You'll note it can accept major credit cards, which would integrate with your payment gateway or your credit card processor, as well as PayPal, so PayPal standard, as well as invoice, in case you want to be able to allow somebody to place the order but pay for it later. So let's say we choose Visa here. We now show credit card information. This credit card information includes the name, billing address, etc. Just to note, any of the text you see on the screen from this word credit card, the subtitle of fields, can all be customized on a shop-by-shop -shop basis by yourself as an administrator. It requires no coding, no HTML, no Salesforce Apex code. You can do this on your own within the Soapbox Engage toolset. We can collect the billing information related to that credit card. And now down below, we move to the shipping information. You can click a button to go ahead and copy the billing information to fill in the shipping information, or you can have the person go ahead and include this shipping information separately. You can also include any notes regarding the shipment itself, such as where it needs to be delivered, etc., and then email address in case you want to be able to allow somebody to be able to have a receipt of the order as well as being able to have any sort of intangible items such as product downloads that are sent to them in a particular email address. At the bottom of the screen we can see the order summary. So in this case we have the two coffee mugs and the three life-changing books. 
the total $90, the ability to place the order, and the footer for the page. So this is what it's presented to the user on the front end of the website when they're looking at their shop. Now let's see what happens once that data goes into Salesforce. When somebody places an order, that order is represented by an opportunity in Salesforce. An opportunity, as well as the relationship of this opportunity to an account, so this would be the company placing the order, and the contact, the person who placed the order. This all happens automatically and will even match against existing accounts and contacts. So if I'm a return customer and I'm coming back and I'm placing a new order, all of this data would already be matched to my existing contact and account in your Salesforce instance. We've got information about the opportunity name, the count, an order ID from the Soapbox shop, the total amount of the order, even the IP address of the person who placed the order. A little further down below, the campaign, we have each one of your shops can be represented by a campaign in Salesforce. So if you want to see how effectively a particular shop is doing or a particular page of a shop is doing within Soapbox Engage, you'd be able to do this as well. Payment information is listed here. Billing and shipping information would also be listed on this page as well. So you can collect billing information for this particular order as well as shipping information for this particular order. Product information is really critical. So these are opportunity line items. Each one of the opportunities um, for a uh, shop order is represented here. So we can see each one of the products, such as product one, two, and three, is represented and related to a product in Salesforce. So this order has three products. Here are the three different products that were chosen in the order. The quantity, the sales price that it was purchased at, and then any description that came in with it as well too. So really critical, the products from Salesforce are matched with the products the person purchased on the website. Pretty powerful stuff, right? And finally, the contact role is the person who placed the order and a relationship between this order and their contact and their account. So let's take a look at what this looks like within the Soapbox Engage Administrator, how we can set up a store. So you go within Soapbox Engage, and you can go directly to the Shop app. And within the Shop app, you've got the ability to see the Stores Manager. Stores are essentially the pages that we just saw in our example below or earlier. We can go ahead and create multiple stores. And when we look at any one particular store, we can see the title of the store, is it published, a public-facing description, and then just the basic um, intro and outro text for the particular store page. So that's decently exciting, but let's take a look at the actual products themselves. With Soapbox Shop, you create the products within Soapbox Shop, and you match it to existing products and price books within Salesforce. So we can see a listing here in the products manager of the different products we've got in the store, their status, list price, etc. And if I look at any one particular product, such as the coffee mug, I can see the coffee mug's name, an alias, the product code that we've chosen for it, any sort of summary information we have for it, an internal description, whether or not it's published, a list price, a tax deductible price in case you're a nonprofit organization, any sort of custom field values for more advanced services. Uh, a status, and then most importantly, the price book entry in Salesforce. This is where you match a product in Salesforce with its price to a product in Soapbox Engage. So if I go ahead and click on the select button here, this will pop up a window and it'll show me all the different price book entries we've got in our Salesforce organization. I can do a search or select through different price books that I've already got to find a particular product. And I can see each of the products listed here by name, the name of the price book, the amount, and then the product code. So really easy for you to relate a product in Salesforce with a product you've created in Soapbox Shop. Now moving on to categories. Categories are just a way in which you can bring different products together. You can kind of think about it as different aisles in a grocery store. How do we want to relate different products together and then potentially display them together on the front end of the website? Well, this is pretty straightforward. You can name your category, you choose which store it's related to, and then the order and the publishing status of which you want to create it. So pretty straightforward stuff from creating stores creating products, relating those products to Salesforce products, and then categorizing your different products. 
All this is available to you today in our Soapbox Shop app, which is part of the Soapbox Engage suite. If you want to learn more, just go to www.soapboxengage.com. Thanks for watching.